what's up guys it's the number one prayed here and today what i'll be bringing you guys is a class setup for the new pre-order gun called the ak-12g this basic this gun is basically a variant of the original ak-12 which you can unlock straight away on cod advanced warfare but since this is a variant it performs pretty much differently it has a different sort of style to it and uh... it's just a really good gun and this is one of the you know there's more guns that you can get through pre-order in it but this is just one of them and the most uh... Best gun, in my opinion, from the pre order bonus. So, I'm pretty sure this class setup will allow you guys to perform well whilst you're playing Call Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, if you haven't pre ordered it, I'm not exactly sure on how you actually unlock it. Um, if I find out, then I'll let you know in the description or what, or comments or something like that. But uh, until now, this is what it is for the pre order bonus. And obviously, it's the AK 12G. It's got like a sort of gold tainted camo on it, which is kind of cool. I wonder what gold camo itself would look like on this gun. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, the attachments that I use on this gun, uh, these three, I have to use primary gunfighter to be able to unlock three uh, attachments, which is basically a wild card. It's not as bad as Ghost, where you have to use up like three spaces out of your perk list or something like that. I can't exactly remember but um the three perks I uh, attachments sorry that I use are the stock the silencer or suppressor and the extended mags now at the end of the video or sometime soon I'm going to show you how useful stock is in terms of like a comparison uh, stock is almost vital it allows you to strafe in and out dodging and weaving bullets whilst in a gunfight makes it harder for the enemies to lock on their target on you uh, whilst without stock you're just pretty much a standing target for them so actually instead of showing you at the end of the video I'm going to show you how it works now so basically you can see I'm using stock right now I'm going left and right pretty quickly pretty smoothly and it helps me but unfortunately when you don't use stock you're in a bit of trouble you're going to be moving at super slow, slow speed, which is really, really unhelpful when you're trying to win a gunfight. You definitely need stock. And here, obviously, as you guys can see, is an example of that. Silencer or suppressor is really useful because at the start of the game, it's where everyone's using like UAVs and stuff like that. Not exactly UAVs, but they'll be more... I don't know what the right word is, but they'll be more... They want to look at their radar more because they want to learn the game. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but to be honest, but there you go. Uh, it just allows you to keep off the radar, and your muzzle doesn't flash so much, which is always useful. It does lower the damage a bit, but I don't think it's too much of a difference. If you've got good aim, you'll be able to keep up. The next one is extended mags, and this this uh, attachment is pretty much an attachment that's been going around the pub something community for ages. It's a gun, it's an attachment that helps you out because it gives you extra bullets in the mag, along with extra bullets like behind you, not behind you, but you know, in your back in load. So that's helpful, and also you can take out many enemies before you have to reload because the reloading is kind of weird on this game. If you reload it. Literally delete all the ammo it has instead of replenishing it in in the back end ammo. I don't know why it does that. It's more realistic, but um, it's kind of annoying. So that's useful. Um, the perk one is low profile, and it allows you to be invisible to UAVs tracking rounds and exo ping. So um, invisible to UAVs, everyone's going to be spamming out UAVs for the first day or two, first week possibly. So staying off the radar is almost important. Uh, not almost, it is important. Uh, the next one is Gung Ho, and this one allows you to run, but when you're running, you don't do the running animation. You're allowed to hit fire at the same time. You can also do it while you're sliding as well, which is useful. So it can be useful in the sense that if you're shooting somebody, I mean, if you're if you're in mid mid sprint and you see an enemy, you're allowed to hit fire them, and those couple of shots, although it's kind of random, those couple of shots that could injure them before you end up aiming in could hit them and make them weak giving you the better chance to win the gunfight which is always useful and perk 3 I've decided to use uh, wild card for it giving perk 3 greed and the two, attack the two perks are scavenger which allows you to start with more mags and it allows you to pick up ammo from the enemy's bodies so that's also helpful um, because you do run out of ammo really quick on this game because of that reload feature the next one is Blast Suppressor, and this is useful because if you like boost jumping using exo abilities, um, it really, really is annoying because you can see it on the radar and stuff like that. And with using this perk, you're going to stay off the radar and you're going to be able to flank the enemies and kill them easier and be able to use your exo abilities to the 
full potential. And the last thing, I don't use a secondary by the way guys because it's not really needed, you can just pick up enemy guns and the combat knife is actually kind of good in a way. Uh, the exo ping is going to be my exo ability and it shows the enemy's exo movements so I can tell where they're coming from and what not so that is also sweet to you know you don't get snuck up on behind whilst they're boost jumping, boost moving, whatever they're doing. And the last part is the score streaks which I'm going to be using the UAV and I've also put three attachments to it. One is speed which allows it to sweep much faster than normal. That adds an extra 50 score so you have to get 50 score or more to get it. And the next one is extra time which you know costs 100 as well so it moves it up 150 in combination with that. Um, it allows it to the UAV to stay up longer so you can you know use it more often and hopefully you'll be able to you know get overlap another UAV by the time that one's finished and uh, just keep aware of the enemy position and the last one is enemy direction and that's pretty much makes it like an advanced UAV all three of these in combination makes it a really really strong advanced UAV and that's something that's always helpful when you're going for gun streaks and stuff like that and the last one is system hack and it's really annoying when people call this in against you but um, it's really useful when you have it and what I would on this is assist points which means when your teammates get a kill you'll get assist points but with assist points here for attachment you'll get even more so you'll be able to overlap streaks quicker but I'll get while getting assists so that's really helpful and the next one is extra time so the enemies can stay hazed all all day long <laughs> not all day long but for a long while you could also double up on it but it costs 300 in total but I only decide to use two in my opinion but if you want to go that high then you could select three but it makes it 950 points which is a lot so that's my class setup. I'm going to give you guys one last review of it. So hopefully this does benefit you guys a lot. And uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below how you found it. And if you think it's a good class setup. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Expect more videos coming out later. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button on my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of tips and tricks and gameplays of Advanced Warfare that you guys will certainly enjoy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit that like rating as well. And peace. Have a nice day.